In this video, the function generator, frequency, amplitude, and DC offset will be measured three different ways. One, by the analog oscilloscope, two, by the digital oscilloscope, and three, by the fluke voltmeter. First, adjust the analog oscilloscope zero position, the variable knob on the voltage is fully counterclockwise, the variable knob on the time knob is fully clockwise, the trace is positioned on the extreme left hand edge with this knob. The scale is adjusted so that the peak value is as large as possible and one full cycle is maximized. One full cycle is off screen there so one smaller than that is the best measurement. So the current measurement is 5.4 divisions is the period. And the amplitude is 3.6 up and 3.6 down. So the amplitude is 3.6 divisions and the DC offset is 5.4 goes up, it's a positive, so I'll measure with respect to the bottom. I'll move the peak to the bottom grid line, allow the D signal, DC signal in, and that DC signal is 1, 2, 3.3 3. 3 .3 divisions DC. Now measure the same signal with the Tektronics digital oscilloscope. Vmax is 7.2, frequency is 916 hertz, um, Vmin is negative 0.4 volts, and V peak to peak is 7.68 volts. Now use the fluke meter to measure the AC RMS voltage 2.679 that's volts AC RMS the frequency is 915.4 Hertz and the DC offset is 3.382 volts. Here is a summary of all of those measurements. The fluke multimeter is in the second row. The digital oscilloscope is in the third row. Analog oscilloscope in the fourth row and the most likely values in the top row. I'll explain later. First two columns show the RMS voltage and percent error. Next two columns voltage amplitude and percent error. Next two columns frequency in Hertz and percent error. 
next two columns, DC voltage and percent error. Next pair of columns, voltage max and voltage min. Next three columns are period, amplitude, and DC shift, all measured in divisions for the analog oscilloscope. In blue are the measured values. In green are the calculated values from those measured values. And in yellow are the percent errors compared to the most likely values. The most likely values are the average of the um, fluke and the digital oscilloscope. The direct measurements for the fluke multimeter include the RMS voltage, frequency, and the DC offset. The direct measurements for the digital oscilloscope include the frequency, voltage maximum, and voltage minimum. The direct measurements for the analog oscilloscope are all in divisions, the period, amplitude, and DC offset. I'm most interested in the analog oscilloscope calculations compared to the digital measurements. For example, the 3.6 volt amplitude comes from multiplying 3.6 divisions times 1 volt per division. And the frequency of 926 hertz is calculated from the period measurement of 5.4 divisions times 0.2 milliseconds per division. And the DC offset voltage of 3.3 volts is calculated from the DC offset measurement of 3.3 divisions times 1 volt per division. How was the 3.81 volt amplitude calculated? In summary, the 1.2% error in frequency is good. The 2.9% error in DC offset is fair, and the 5.9% error in amplitude is not bad. So what was the main purpose of this video? The main purpose of this video was to become familiar with these basic oscilloscope controls without the distraction of all the other controls found on modern digital oscilloscopes. All oscilloscopes have these basic features.